quadrant. Because I think it would be a slightly more interesting uh, kind of character to play as. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's create our character in the Dominion. It's intended for experienced players. I've played the game before. No tutorials or special instruction. It's been a while since I've played it though, so I might have forgotten quite a lot of things. I wonder, what if I do a Romulan? Yeah, I think that might be a better idea. So I could create my own species, or I could be an actual Romulan. I don't want to be an alien. Just like a random alien species. Because you do have to do quite a lot more. Actually, no, let's do that. Let's be an alien. Now, do I want to be a tactical officer? Uh, that means I'd be in a, in a, a ship that's involved mostly in fighting. Do I want to be a science officer? Or do I want to be an engineer? I think I might try my hand as a science officer. Just as a bit of a change. For anything I might have done before. So. We're going to try... A few different head options. Because we could choose specific face types if we wanted to. Okay, it's a little slow. <laughs> but let's see. Okay, so I want to try and adjust my hair if I can. There we are. Okay. Let's see, what are we going to look like? An alien with a kind of Buzzcut's a bit odd, isn't it? I kind of like that, because it looks a bit silly. That's just very Klingon, isn't it? Okay, let's go for that weird bird's nest hairstyle. We could jump across to something else, that would be helpful. Okay. So we want the skin colour that is slightly more... I don't know. Like green, maybe almost like a... Yeah, I like a kind of dark green, that seems like a good idea. Its eye colour is going to be... Can we go any deeper into the colour options than that? No. So let's have purple. And... Well, let's double up on the purple. We have purple eyes. And his hair's got to be kind of a slightly darker colour. Yeah, we'll have like this blue. This looks quite nice. Uh, in terms of that, I could change it to a ridged head if I wanted. Let's give him a flat nose and a ridged head. Not too worried about scaling. Why am I on presets? Yeah, so... That's the head. It is quite in-depth, the, the kind of options here. So, we want that. Overall pattern, we could have a gradient in our head if we wanted to. Actually, 
quite like the idea of having yeah some spots what does this do? doesn't seem to do a great deal you change the colour of those spots to purple like his eyes okay his base complexion oh hey that looks awesome I say infected, just because why not? So again, go towards purple. That will do. Any extra nose details we can have. Right now I'm just going into some random things that I don't really necessarily need to do. Let's have that creased bridge. His ears. Let's just leave his ears as they are. We can have some head attachments if we want. Let's have some something. Let's have those Luthian teeth. Sounds good. Whatever that is. This hairstyle we've got already, that's fine. Uh, I don't want his hair to be that shiny. Oh, we can have some mouth accessories. I don't think facial hair is really going to work, to be honest. Yeah, some green tendrils. That works. Okay. Let's just look at his body as well. See if there's anything we can change here in his body style. No, not really. And his uniform. Can I have a vest or a loose jacket? I think we'll have a loose jacket. I don't want it to be that colour. I kind of want it to be... Yeah, again... Let's have it purple. I know it's probably not a traditional Romulan colour. I just like the idea of it being purple with some green. And we can change the... Make that green as well. And okay. That will do. And his hands, we want him to have. Some paneled gloves. I'm not too concerned about them, but we might make them purple just because. As chest gear, we can have some Romulan suspenders. Let's have them just because why not? And we can have a collar. Yeah, I like that. That's that's quite good. Let's take that. Uh, we want... Let's, have, let's give him some tight pants. And his boots can be... Give him Romulan work boots. And I think that might do. What was this? Oh, we can just make them a little more interesting. Uh, let's make them those. And... We have some kind of belt. I don't need that. That'll do. Let's continue on now. I'm making up some random alien, so it doesn't really make any difference. So let's call him... Well, let's call him Supernatus, why not? So, we're on the side of the Romulans. Uh, we don't really 
care about that. I don't I don't want to give him a formal name. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We've got to enter a name for a ship now. Um let's call it the Oh, we're we gonna have like a warbird, like a uh Yeah, like a warbird sort of thing. We're gonna call it the Phantom. In this game, when you when you change ships, when when you get bigger ships, then you can obviously create a new name for those ships as well. Um, so here we go. It's the RRW Phantom. That's our ship. And here I come as a science officer. What we knew on a Romulan our vessel. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust. Now we've chosen to fight for the Romulans. Skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon yeah. every world we touch, in our hearts. Hey there, welcome to the stream. How are you today? There will be oh, hang on. Just realized I might have done something slightly wrong. Uh, which is that I need to be able to Yeah. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy Hi there, how are you? Be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future. So we're going a little bit different. I've decided in this game to try playing with there the Romulans no for we have not paid. Something no different. We have not felt. Our dead world. Our long suffering. These are not ends. I haven't we played this game in a very long ended. time, so we'll see how uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. People, for this new home, we must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us and overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must. We will. For we are Romulus. You having a good day? It's the legacy of Romulus. Yeah, I've never really, never really tried a from the side of the traditional villains, I guess. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Hey, Ben. We were powerful then. Everything changed. Twenty-two years Hello, ago, Ben Ski. the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homeworlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time, and the last time it was the trying to survive. Just the usual uh, you know, Starfleet character I did, so part of the this should be interesting. I think. We're ruling everything from on high. Different thanks for the host. For ordinary Benski. Military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. Yeah, I I do quite like this the space combat. I mean, there's a lot of other options, obviously, stuff like uh, Elite Dangerous and things, but I think the combat in this is a little more interesting, and the, the missions are a little more interesting as well. Uh, although I got late into the the Starfleet side of things, and some of the <laughs> some of the space battles were uh, becoming a little bit of a pain. <laughs> Mostly when you were fighting against the Dominion. Will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins. Here. Seemed like they had a million ships that would just appear from nowhere. <laughs> here we go. So, uh, let's say I haven't played in a little while. It'll be interesting to see if I can remember everything. Here we go. We're going to talk to Tovan Kev. There you are. Kev, the I mean... chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. avrak has been filing reports all night about Kellogg's. Yeah, there's not a lot of um. He's really worked up. Games like this with good uh, 
with good space combat, so this one I do like. Kellogg's in the vines, that doesn't sound right. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellogg behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. I will look into it then. So we want to uh, have a little listen at the console. Let's see if we can hear the messages. Please tell me you'll help me. Kellas are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes. And everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. Yeah, the drones. Oh my god. Yeah. That was that was the one. Yeah, there was like loads of the drones. And you get killed by them and then the other big ships that were around <laughs> had recovered all their health again. And there were some there were some battles I had where it seemed like no matter what I was firing at, at them, uh it just wouldn't do any damage. I think I was just using the wrong kind of weapons. Well, let's listen to the third message to get the full story. Ignore the other message. I said I lost my temper. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you're not here yet. No. <laughs> no, I think there's once you get a few too many of those drones, you know. Or those kind of creatures, those kind of things attacking you, there's not much of a chance. Okay, so this is obviously the introductory mission, uh, we're obviously going to take the mission. So let's go tell them that I'm going. If the Kellids are chewing up the vineyard, we should probably grab a pistol. Just in case. Just a pistol? I join okay. You, but the chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch yeah, there's only so much you can do against like hundreds of them, isn't there? <laughs> I'll see you later, and I will go and find some weapons. So I need to get a plasma beam pistol. Yeah, it's showing me the tutorials. It's weird actually, because it seems like it's cleared all of my previous stuff away. Yeah, okay. That's... Yeah, so I'm going to have to get through all the tutorial stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I take it that uh, kind of helped a little bit, but still, when there's so many, you just can't. What we got here, Doral, the Keeper of Lore. Hey there. Ready for the big festival? Working hard, or maybe you have time to listen to a story or two? Hmm? Well, I'm investigating issues with Kellids. Not right now. I will come back and learn about that. So right, we go. We're going to go to the farm. But first, we need to practice shooting bottles. Did I miss the bottles? I don't. Okay. There are no anomalies in my area, unsurprisingly. Let's just head out. Yeah, I had a few little different kind of things that I would try and use that seemed to kind of work, but... So here's Avrak. Finally. Which message? But yeah, as you say, you get up to certain stages and then you're just overwhelmed. I need some help. Normally we collect nectar from the local Keladins. Something driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system. They're flooding them in here. Well, I guess I'll start repairing then. The broken pipes are obvious. They're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kellett shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them. Okay. So we got to drive off Kellett's and repair the broken pipes in the vineyard. It's busy work, but someone has to do it. Uh, 
Oh, wait a minute. One Kaled down. Look out for more. Oh yeah, they're just easy to find because they're the ones that are bursting the pipes. Another one down. We don't need to practice shooting bottles. I should have taken on the optional mission objective, but it doesn't really matter that much. Where's the last one? Probably on the other side. Oh, we've got a few there. Ah. Getting to grips with the controls again after so long. Just so long playing it. That takes a short time. There we go. Nice easy mission to begin with. Unless he's got something else for us to do. Stop, but if those Kellids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. So stop the flooding. It's making the insects go crazy. But we need to know why these Kellids keep coming. Goofing off again. She knows all Kellids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. No, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes in this with this kind of character. To get into space, into the combat, but hopefully not too long. Let's get to the greenhouses and see what we can find out there. Okay, looks like we're... About to reach this person as she seems to be driving the ca the Kellids off. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Yeah, he said that you're lazy, so. So old fashioned. So old fashioned. So what's been happening? So defeat the infected or the enraged Kellids to collect samples. Let's see what we can find out. An item is dropped for you. Near the item Good. Will be automatically added to your inventory. I have to say that the uh Looks like we got the sample we needed. That was pretty quick. Just had to kill one Kellid to get the sample. Hmm. Yeah, what have they been infected by? That's the question. Guess we gotta go to the cavern and find out. Find out what's agitating them. I'll try and be careful. They're not getting their coffee in the morning, that's the problem. Oh my. Should have been paying attention there to that thing coming along. Ah, it just exploded! Out of my way, you insects. So yeah, let's see what's infecting them in the caverns. Am I about to be attacked? No? Okay. Well, not out there anyway. He's gone. Well, this one's got some kind of 
It's enraged. They do fairly little damage, but... Let's see if we can solve their infection problem. Set, you go down. Okay. There's a few dead ones here. Better do a quick tricorder scan. A large gash across its abdomen. Oh. What are we seeing now? Some sort of robotic chelid? Not a chelid, but it's something pretended to be one. We're trying to sneak amongst them. Unknown spider like creature. And it's dead. Have these been uh, trying to take over? Trying to get rid of the creatures from their... From their habitat. And more importantly, what are they? So we're not going to find out that easily. There's a lot of them though. And an unknown floating creature. Definitely not. Definitely not. What's this all about? I only hope my character as a junior science officer is... Uh, able to work with this. Well, there we go. Now what's going to happen? Am I going to get hit by like a swarm of these creatures? No, it looks like I've just stopped them. For now. Just for now. Okay. There. Someone's been in there. To let the Maori know about Maori this. Know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. Maybe they'll calm down. Or maybe they'll those biological samples while you were go gone. crazier. I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to. <laughs> he was an engineer in the Romulan. Well, why did she ask me for the sample then, if she has no way of scanning it? Helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. I will. I will talk to Devex, because it seems like he knows what he's doing. And while he might be a format of video, he should also be helpful. That's a terrible joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> but where is he? He must be over here. Yep. Devex talking to a colonist. What do you need with an old space hound like me? I don't know. Someone asked me to come and speak to you. Maybe nothing. Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. Maybe I saw something like, like this, this once, once before. before. When I was out beyond the Eridan belt. We don't don't uh call from don't feel like you need to, you know, there, be absolutely certain about anything. Vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon. A strange beacon and some spore samples. These look very similar. Well, let's use his equipment to scan the samples. I'll let you know what I find. I should have listened to what he said, but. So let's analyze this and see if uh, we can find out anything useful. Fungal biotech. Remember that mining hmm. station that I mentioned. Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders. Paranoia. Were 
right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. Well, that doesn't sound good. Sounds downright bad. To believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. Let's hope not. That's that's very bad. And you thought it was related that's to the beacon. My commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. Mm. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. Okay. We stayed in so we need to find them. Days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found. The it probably is, yeah, because chances are they would have come back and done some serious damage. What do we do now? That's right. He's the man in charge. So the Maori. Do you like the mayor? If he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon, could be these Ilachi were interested. Well, I guess who that probably me. They'll send to analyze it. You were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. I will take my findings to him and I'll explain the involvement of the Alachi, as you say. So let's go to the Maori. He's over here somewhere. Somewhere. In front of me here? Oh, he's up there. No. Where are the steps to get up there then? Probably run right past them. Yeah, there we are. So we'll go and speak to this guy now. I have to speak to about four different people before you can finish a quest. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day. Well, his problems are your problems. Does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. It was my honor. Some engineers to examine Sir. the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. What the Vex says is true. We don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's, that's fine. Settled. Take it away. Remove it. Destroy it. Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the Not enough people do that in these in these things. They don't just destroy the thing. You know. Or get rid of it in some way that means that these people will never come back. And back to Tovan Kev. I can heal him. Which is what we'll do. I will meet you there then. So we can explore the settlement. Hey there. Oh. Guess we're not exploring the settlement. <laughs> I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the tall Shi'ar. Word is someone named Oh, don't don't say that too loud. Me, I'm content with what we have here. The walls and everything else have ears. Where the Tal Shiar are concerned, surely. It's interesting that they've made like three different Starfleet factions to make up so like the original series one that they have, the next generation, you know, and all that kind of obviously series, and then Star Trek Discovery, which. Well, this is a bit different. More than a bit different. So if you do, if you do it as a Star Trek Discovery uh, character captain, does does that mean that the Klingons look completely different? <laughs> well, I guess if you do it as an original st series captain, surely the Klingons should look like the original series Klingons. Uh, I'd have to try it and find out, I guess. But yeah, 
can understand. I mean, maybe, maybe I suppose technology-wise they'll be a little bit different. Like the original series of Starfleet will be more basic sort of weapons and things, I guess. Maybe the the Discovery Starfleet ones have all sorts of weird technology. Then again, they shouldn't be as good as the next generation ones, so I don't know. Anyway. That went from bad to worse very quickly. Is this a latch either? Like, they turned off our, our thing and killed my drones. That cannot stand. Am I alright? I guess I'm alright. I don't, I don't know. It's too late. He's gone. Everyone's gone. Where are you? Okay. If you can get a rifle, you can fight your way out. I will get a rifle and fight my way out then. Rifle. Okay, okay, yeah, I can see him on the ground, but I don't think there's really anything I can do for him, unfortunately. It's the it's the Tal Shiar, that's his fault. His fault. Okay. Okay, well that's not the weapon I want to use. So I have to find some Tal Shiar invaders to defeat. While that guy stands there and just gets taken! Two down. Find one more. There you are. Just keep coming. Get a battery from the marketplace. We need to send out a distress signal. Okay. Find a battery. Got some drones of their own that they're attacking me with. The Tal Shiar were supposed to be... Well, I suppose they are Romulan intelligence, essentially, aren't they? So... And also, some pretty dark uh, characters in their own right. Yeah, I'm getting damaged by characters that just seem to be appearing from nowhere. Well, let's move. I'm sure I'm going the right way. Just taking people prisoner all round. The damn Tal Shiar. And all these drones. I'm starting to think that they're maybe not from that Elachi group. I need a battery. Okay, battery, battery. Whereabouts will I find a battery? Over there, maybe. From a marketplace camera there. Gotta kill this guys. These guys, should I say? They certainly are. They certainly are. Yeah, I've got the batteries, but there's still a lot of enemies here. Are we going to get rescued by Starfleet? Or will, like, the Robulan, I don't know, High Command send someone down? Seems unlikely, given 
Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, won't we, what the Tal Shiar are doing around here. And he's down. We've got some guys around about this machine that we need to use. Come on. Die. That's the way. See if we can't get this distress signal out. Get us some help. Get to the shipyard. We're getting out of here. Let's go. I don't know how many people will actually be rescued. Good chance most of them will probably be wiped out. Here we go. Looks like we might have reached our ship. At least our way out of here for now. Yeah, it would appear that that mission has been completed. Uh, I don't need to change his uniform. I think he's perfectly fine the way he is. Let's get on the shuttle and get the heck out of here. Before it's too late. Oh my. Looks like this we can uh, give up this planet for good. But we're out in the Vernat system now. And the question is, where are we going to go? Ooh. A lot of the shuttles are getting blown out of the sky. So we're getting a warbird. There. Of course. From Devex. I didn't think that old guy had those kinds of resources. Crazy. Just one sec. So here we are, we're heading out to some derelict ships. Navigation is online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. Well, I guess we need to do some scanning then in that case. Press down to decrease your ship speed. Let's see, we've got a derelict ship here to head to and scan. But we're not going to get there very quickly. Scan the ship. We just need a little more salvage. A little more salvage, which just as well there's another ship right there. Use the left stick to pitch downward or upward, as well as to turn left or right. This is a very slow ship. Very slow. <laughs> but I'm sure once we get our engines and everything working as it sh as they should. Maybe we'll do a little bit better with it. Weapons are online. Let's test them out at some of these derelicts Good. nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. You must be with so let's do that. Of an enemy to attack it. Well, okay. If only we could get there a little faster. <laughs> Within 10 kilometers, we are 12 and a half kilometers away. Is that the only enemy? This appears to be the maximum speed we're going to get out of this ship for now. Okay, there we go. Scrap neutronium. We can use that to reinforce the hull of this old warbird. Awesome. Nice and easy. It is like a really slow ship. And I think we need to go and recover this neutronium. Ah, we are early days. It is early days now though, isn't it? So... We've literally just made our way out. 
into space. I'm sure we'll get quicker. Oh, three more! Great. There we go. Let's have this. Still, hopefully, maybe if we get our warp engines up and running. Wait, did that just get destroyed? The ship's not under attack. Oh no. The last lot of that disappeared. I hope this one doesn't. Oh, we got that neutronium. We didn't seem to get the other one though. Yeah, it's like really, really slow. I don't even remember. I don't even remember the the early Starfleet ships being as slow as this. Yeah, I know. Use my plasma beam to weaken the shielded targets. I get it. That doesn't seem to have helped. That appears to have done no damage at all to that satellite. There we go. Ah, I see, we're just using this really to take the shields down. And then we need to speak to Tovan Kev. Yeah, I'm hoping. Great. All systems are go and full impulse is back online. Full impulse is back online. Maybe we'll be okay now. <laughs> Must be people from the colony. More colonists managed to escape the surface. Well, then let's go and get them. Signal is close. Searching. Hopefully now we'll be a bit quicker. Now that impulse is apparently working again. There. We have to help them. Let's do it. Hold up on the D pad to activate and deactivate full impulse. There we go. That's what we wanted. It's probably not a lot faster, but it's still faster. Noticeably faster too. <laughs> Where are we? Turn off full impulse. There's a Tal Shiar drone dead ahead. Tal Shiar drone. Come well, on, take the drone. There we go. We'll get the colonists on board and get the heck out of here. Yes, let's do that. High yield torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Let's use a high yield torpedo. That's better. So take him out with a high yield torpedo. Oof, that did a lot of damage, but that, that one's just outside of weapons range. That's it, come on. Well, we've knocked the shields out. If, I'm not, if we're not careful, we're not going to be close enough. I mean, it's still really slow. But it's not. It's not as slow as it was, at least. Thankfully, we've got another uh, another ally ship just there. So impulse there and just get there a bit quicker. Let's use a high impulse, a high uh, 
high yield torpedo again. That's one down. Try taking some evasive action. There's not really any evasive maneuvers programmed in yet, so. But there we go. And we've beamed on all the colonists. I think it's safe to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting I think it is. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. Another distress signal, together. which means we want to use want a short now? short range jump. Here to wipe out any other incoming drones. Now let's just get to the next area. It's only early. It's only the early uh, tutorial missions, isn't it? So it's not the end of the world. There aren't any colonists here. Just this strange uh -oh. ship. Never seen uh -oh. like this in my life. That's one of the ships that was on that planet, wasn't it? Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? Yeah, well, as he says, we could try scanning them if if we have the technology to even get beyond their shields. Let's see. Oh, looks like I have to get close enough to scan it first. Oh my! They've done something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. I think I'm not going to be able to warp us out. What do you want me to do? I, I mean, we open a comm channel. Will they? Will they actually speak to us? Let's try. Getting a reply. They're rearranging our words rearranging our to send them back, so they probably don't back. speak English. Listen. But we've got a universal translator, so... Want you, want ship. I'm picking up another ship. Oh, this we've got a Tal Shiar ship coming in. Can we really survive against a Tal Shiar ship in this tiny little thing? Well, wait, they're fighting each other. It would so appear. Fudge, you were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. We can't escape our you obligations. That no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations. Okay. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakib of the Tall Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim the colony that's been like totally destroyed. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve. Surrender now. You are most suited. No. Weapons at will. We won't be surrendering. Sorry, I'll probably get absolutely annihilated for doing this, but. Let's get a high yield torpedo on the go. Our shields seem to be holding up fairly well at the moment. Probably helps that I've got these ships ass assisted me. So I don't think I'm doing an awful lot of damage to them. Get at the right angle so you can use your torpedoes. Balance out my shields a little better. Oh, looks like we've we've taken his eye out. Apparently, I won't have anyone to protect me. I bet you don't cross my path again, buddy. Next time I'll probably have a better ship. I am Tamer, commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time, given your ship's condition. Who are you? And what happened here? Well, basically the colony got destroyed. I am truly sorry. Because the Tal Shiar are on the side of the Alachi? 
Hibachi creatures. They are trouble. Is that what we're supposed to assume? No more about them. And why they're working with a snake like Hakeem. Well. As I said, our yeah. Romulan who knows? You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists, the tall shark makes. Ah, these are the Romulan the kind of separatists, the aren't they? So I can say I don't want to be part of his war, but then what? Just float around space with no purpose. I appreciate your willingness to Let's help him. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. Yeah, that's good. Because, yeah, I mean, the, the early ships, you know... Even when I was playing a sort of a Starfleet kind of officer, the 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 early ships aren't great, but they get pretty good pretty pretty quickly. So hopefully, once I level up to the right level, I'll get a better ship. Let's just warp right there to the flotilla and see what they've got to offer. Mare's assistant. There is much to discuss. There's a lot to discuss. Commander, our guests have arrived. Excellent. Let's I'll see what he's got to say. There's a to do. I'll be glad to I'll take the tour and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready. Back on the ship when he's when we're ready. Well, Tell me what you've got to see. We're counting on you. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't looked into the designs, obviously, of a lot of the non, the non Starfleet ones. So I'm interested to, to see what the options are. Uh, let's join the fleet and see what he can, see what he can do for us. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. So, what did Datan do to form the Republic? What hasn't Datan done? He has quite the long history. The short version is that he desires to see the reunification of the Vulcans and Romulans. Before that can happen, though, he wants us to find a new homeworld, reconcile with the Remans, and end the centuries of oppression beneath the Tal Shiar. The Romulan, after all that's happened, we still have our pride and our heritage. We need to be able to approach the Vulcans as equals, not as refugees. Tamer is the commander of the fleet. No actions happened without his approval. Before that, he worked in intelligence for the Romulan military, which allowed him to learn more about the Tal Shiar. Didn't want to work alongside them. And then needed a defense against them. He accepted before he could finish the sentence. Yeah, I just had to get It's quite a... Quite a strong ship, so it can survive, survive some decent fights. I suppose that is the price you pay, isn't it, for that? That the 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 stronger kind of ships that way do tend to be a bit slower. I already read that. Okay, well I'm ready for what's next. That's the trouble, isn't it? If you want something that's strong defensively, you end up with something that's maybe not as Agile as some of the other ships. Now well, I'm going to receive my uniform and get a tour of the flotilla. And my first assignment. So I guess I'm in. We get some more experience. Uniform and a free starship modification. Can't get into a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of ours. We have some more shield arrays and energy damping armor and other such items. Congratulations, Lieutenant. So I'm now a lieutenant. 
and we need to speak to Lieutenant Dalitham to customize my outfit, but Tamara wants to speak to us as well. What should I do now? Take the turbo lift back to the transporter room, look for the tailor for a uniform change, and then look for the ship tailor and customize my warbird. All right, so you've got like a, a swarm of uh, birds of prey ready to take people down. Seven to turn left and take the turbo lift back. Yeah, I know that already. Okay. So we're going to take the turbo lift back. If I can find where the turbo lift is. There we are. And we'll go and get our uniform sorted out. Speak to Delatham. If I have any idea where he is. This is the ship logistics area. So that's how to get hold of some ships. Let's have a quick look. So I guess right now we're in one of these light warbirds. War As we progress, obviously, we'll get something a little more interesting. Until we can get up to some of these more interesting ships. Yeah, yeah, they would do they would do quite a lot of damage. Definitely. It's not the ship vendor we want to go to, is it? Equipment vendor. And the ship manager. Well I think we're in the wrong part of this area just now. Can I look at yours there? Oh, it's a two, T5 one. Let's have a look. Let's see what you've got. Under fleet starships or starships. I think they're pretty, I think they're the same actually, aren't they? Which one which one do you use? The packs. Okay. So it's a very strong hull. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's one thing I have to admit I really like about them, about the Romulan ships, is they do look, they do look really nice. But yeah, though that's that is a massive ship. Obviously, the, the the kind of picture there doesn't doesn't kind of tell you the whole story about how big they are, does it? But that's a nice ship, a very nice, very nice ship. Yeah, I'm looking forward to. Although it takes it takes obviously quite a while to get there, I'm looking forward to to picking up some of the better ships at some point. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, I need to go and find this uh, tailor. I think maybe he's at the other side here. You like you do get a good idea of the scale of the ships when you see them alongside alongside any other ones. Oh, where are we? Where's the tailor? That's the medical officer. So we're in uh, sick bay. That's the assignment officer. I don't think I want to see. Yeah, it's. I can imagine it is one of those things. It's like that that area where you go in and all the um, 
all the Borg cubes are there, you know, when you when you fly up near them, I mean, that just, it's overwhelming how much bigger they are. <laughs> And yeah, when people come in with their, with whatever, you know, I suppose what I've been used to seeing are like the, the galaxy class starships and all the rest, you know, the, is this the guy I'm looking for? Yeah, here he is. And when you're first starting out, yeah, I mean, you're, you'd think that they could barely see you on their screen. Been authorized to receive new uniform. I'll give it a shot. Let's have a look at my outfits. That is my current outfit. So I've just created kind of a weird alien character as well, rather than a... Okay, well... So we can set up a different uniform if we want to. It's taking a little while, it's running a little slowly at the moment. But we got there in the end. Oh, and there we go, we can select a, an option for our uniform. Some sort of secondary. I would imagine so, yeah. <laughs> you know. Just you think everything's going fine, and then here comes a warbird out of the out of the ether and just scares the hell out of you. Yeah. I've always thought that. I mean, particularly the. Uh, it has to be the, the next, the Star Trek, the next generation, you know, uh, warbirds. You know, the first time you saw one of those, it was, it was one of those, old, you know, kind of, oh my God, moments, you know, when you first saw it in that series. So yeah, I mean, it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? You see one appear just off your bow or whatever, and you're like, <gasps> especially if you're, uh, especially if you're not in a, um, Especially if you're not in a powerful ship. Let's take that one. So I like the look of that one. We'll have that higher neck. To, uh, we can have a sash if we want. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I don't have coins I need to do that, so let's not bother with that. Oh yeah, definitely it'll be uh, very frightening. Let's take these. Slightly different little things on our uniform. I don't think we need any of these pouches. To be honest, I think that'll probably do. I'm probably going to use the main outfit that I'm wearing anyway for the, for most of the time. So that'll do. And then speak with Lieutenant Nala to customise my ship. Oh, nice! So you can you can try and get round behind them while they while they're caught up by the decoys. That's awesome. Sub Commander Kale. That's not who I'm wanting to speak to yet, at least. 
Now that would make combat quite confusing, wouldn't it? Right, so where's the person I'm looking for? That's the chief engineer. I don't need to speak to the chief engineer at the moment. I think I'm in completely the wrong place. Oh, hang on. I did say I was there to customise my ship, but apparently that's not the person I'm looking for. It's to acquire ships. And that's the ship manager, but... It must be my... Yeah, I have to admit, I didn't get involved in much of the the PvP stuff as opposed to see the... Uh, oh, here she is. Uh, to kind of worry too much about other people's ships, you know, but... And it was quite a while ago. It seems like they've made some... They've made a decent amount of changes since the last time I've done anything. Uh, so I can change my ship's appearance. Yeah. I suppose you've got four banks of weapons there, haven't you? And I suppose you've probably got... If you're up to that level, I suppose you've probably got some pretty high-level weapons on there too. Well, let's change the material. Hang on. Oh, it's already got that on it. Uh, the brown Romulan type. I quite like that. Let's take that one. No windows. I want to make it a bit more... I don't know. Interesting looking. Hue that blue. I don't know, purple. Oh yeah, we want one of these, just because why not? I can find one that actually looks worthwhile. Oh yeah, we're going for the uh, the old Corvus. And the, we can even change our interior. Although, we don't think we get very many options for Romulan bridges. make that our ship. Although, obviously, in a short time we'll be, uh... Now, where am I going to find Datan? Over there! Let's just make some slight changes to my ship there, but... Obviously, I hope that I don't have to be stuck with that small ship for too much longer. So what's been your kind of favourite part of the storyline? I mean, I've done a bit of the... Have you mostly played as Rom Romulans Hello? and Klingons? Now that you're settling in, I've, I've not really seen much of their kind of mission branch. Uh, I've done a lot of the different Starfleet stuff, but... Crew are handling that I just find thought the idea of dealing with a Romulan kind of side of the story would be a bit more interesting. That we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Excuse me. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans. Yeah, okay, so I've done it on the side of the colonists who are trying to Join up with people like the Federation and the Klingons. Hmm. We are finding more by How many colonies? Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. In I'd rather be on the side of the and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shiar. Of the Tal Shiar. Anyone willing to assist us? Do you have any questions? If not, I would suggest you return to your ship. 
Tamer will have his orders ready for you. Yeah, the big question would be, can we really ally ourselves with the Federation and the Klingons? I do not know. Our history of deception with both groups definitely does not help. Hmm. The Tal Shiar, however, will not attack the fleet for now. Sela would see such a direct action as too great a risk. She much prefers to work in the shadows. Let she might be worry about our potential coming up with an idea already. While she's got the I will be she's got the strength of uh, to come to an agreement. We can all live the nastier of Romulan tacticians. Not yet. He, he went with Starfleet. Yeah, I mean, I, I can kind of see see why, because I don't know if the Klingons and Romulans working together just feels feels wrong somehow. Because, you know, as nasty as the Romulans can have been presented in some of the shows in the past, they're definitely the more... I wouldn't say more peaceful, but more peaceful sounds a bit odd, but I suppose they're a little more tactical like than, the, than the Klingons. Ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However, before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks. Okay, so he wants me to ask about his, uh, his sister? I think I can do that. Beam me back out. Although actually, I mm, maybe should have. Let's take a look at the outfitting on my ship if I can. Missions can be turned in remotely. Hold A to bring up your captain commands menu and select turn in to report to the contact and Let's turn in the see. mission. This is your character. Here you can see your equipped items. What do we have? Select any so we've got a dual beam bank standard issue and a t plasma Select torpedo launcher. And no other weapons to change to. Any devices? No. My aft weapon. It's not a bad looking ship, it's obviously a bit a bit basic, but uh, let's take that Mark II shield. Because it'll just give me a little bit more shield, but also regenerates a bit quicker too. And reduces disruptor damage. Which is alright if we're fighting against people who are using disruptors, but our deflector array, we don't have another option. Uh, no other options for our engines or our warp core just now. No engineering consoles or science consoles or tactical consoles. This is a very basic ship. Yeah, I wasn't sure what sort of names to give a, a, a Romulan ship, but it seemed to make sense. You know, given obviously their cloaking skills. Yeah, I think we're okay. Um, I also want to take a look at my gear options. Make sure I'm using everything that I can. Any extra kit? No. No kit frames. No extra sh... Oh. Uh, that's equipped on the other guy. We don't want to... Uh, we'll take that energy dampening armor if you don't mind. And that's about it. Okay. So, we're gonna... Hail Tamer. And explore the flotilla. So my first target is already under attack by the Tal Shiar. No time to lose. And Republic Command want to wish us... Well, give us congratulations on our success. So where's my mission? That's the question. So I have no primary mission at the moment. And no active missions at the moment. I guess we'll enter the flotilla maybe. 
Let's see what we can find out. Oh no, that just gets me back on board. That's no use. Okay, I'm confused. Did I not have a mission there? Okay, I'll accept that. Okay. That's better. Clean me up, Tovan. Well, let's go and look at our first mission. See if we can survive. Okay. I want to open up Sector Space and we want to go to the Suliban Helix. Which is... Which is where? It's not in the Azure Sector. I would have thought it would be in the same sector as me. Go to the Suliban Helix. No, I want to go to the local sector map, don't I? Okay, where is it? That's Romulus. I'm trying to find exactly where it is on the star map, because it is quite a large star map. Let me just come out of this for a minute. I would have thought it would have been, would have been kind of close by. Wouldn't you? <laughs> for the first mission? Yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's just been so long since I've actually played the game and the... Well, that's it, is it? You know, you, 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 after a while you don't go back to those early kind of segments of the game. This is going to take a while if I don't have... Well, it's fine. It's one of the things I find, you know, early on in this game when you're when you're not when you're not in a fast ship and it's it's taking some time. The space flight can take forever. <laughs> no, I suppose I mean if you if you're kind of you're probably I guess you're probably right about sort of end game sort of stuff. Uh done all the kind of mission options that are available and then yeah as you say at that stage it is just a case of kind of kind of sitting around waiting for things to come up or doing some events and things I guess uh, I did I mean at one point try and do kind of all of the various little kind of side you know sections and go to all the different sectors and I guess once you've done a lot of that, there's not a huge amount left to do, is there? I can see we're almost there. Well, not much else to do other than maybe start with another character or... Because I think it's quite good, I mean, that they have got some slightly... some different storylines for obviously the, the different races. Uh, I was interested in maybe trying the the Dominion at some point, but the trouble I could see with the Dominion is that I don't know the <laughs> part with like Jem Hadar seems a bit We've arrived at the dull Helix. maybe. We're not the only ship here. A tall Shi'ar warbird is Oh, there's a tall Shi'ar warbird. They haven't raised shields yet, but their weapons are online. Wait, they're hailing us. Your orders? Mm, let's ship take a look at the ship first. It's a Tavaro light warbird, designation IRW Shardar. They could be tall Shi'ar. 
They could be Talshiar, but it ago they said they were. Well, let's answer the hail and see who it is. We are the Tall Shiar. Of course they are. Of course they're the Tall Shiar. Uh, be advised you're in violation of Security Order 63R. Your vessel's operating in this area without authorization. Identify yourself immediately or your actions will be considered hostile. You don't want that kind of trouble. What authority do you have? I've already identified who I am, and I've stolen military property. Do I care to explain? Yeah, I can explain. Let's get underway. It's a bit frustrating to have to start the battle from... Come on. We're in trouble here. How's this ship really supposed to do that well against... Let's get ourselves uh, with a high yield torpedo. Well, that was easy enough. We destroyed the IRW Shardar. But we did take some nasty damage there when it blew up. So let's contact the Sulban Helix. Only civilians on the Helix don't have much more than they can scavenge from the cell ships. No terrorists here, the Cabal are long gone. Take the scrap you need, but stop taking our people. I'm not here to rob you. I'm looking for Romulan refugees. And there are some hiding, see? So they were hiding them. Hmm. Said in a temporary shelter and be leaving soon. How are we to know that they're wanted terrorists? Your actions speak to, for your true goals if you help us by repairing the helix arm structures. We'll help you get the refugees to your ship. Okay, well let's do it. I guess let's do what they're asking. Just uh, go to Impulse. And we'll reposition the Helix Arm. And then turn around and fight some more Tal Shiar. So I could cloak. But... I would have thought probably that's not going to matter much when I'm fighting the Tal Shiar, is it? Take this high yield torpedo. Oh, this thing turns so slowly. One down. Nasty explosion incoming. Where's the where's the next one? There he is. Take this high yield torpedo. Yeah, that's taking him out. Okay. Let's restore another helix arm. Helix arm beta. Back to that. Reposition. And we've got one more of these to fix. Delta, just here. And more Tal Shiar have just appeared. Three of them this time. Also, I can't actually see. can't actually see. Let's just fix our shields a little bit. Let's turn. Go a little bit faster, maybe. Guess we're going after him, then. Take that. I 
do have a bit of a disadvantage here, I think, against them. But maybe not. We seem to be doing okay. <laughs> One more. Where is he? There he is. Never, they never actually told me how to cloak, but... Take that. But this is the last one. The last Tal Shiar ship is down. Now let's negotiate the transfer. Seems, seems as we helped them. A representative for the group is asking to speak to me. I can imagine, yeah, if any of those ships came across you, they'd probably be uh, dead in seconds. Ooh. Ow. There we go. Yes, they'll be safe with the tan. Yeah, there's low level ships, sir. <laughs> I guess they give me a bit of a challenge in my small ship, but yeah. <laughs> if you've got one of the the tier 5 ships, then you're probably going to be in a lot better position. Mm, so would they rather stay and be captured? Yeah, we're planning a revolt against the Tal Shiar. What, what do you want us to do? Guarantee their friends will be safe at Tatan's fleet. And she'll work for me. Yeah, I Yes, I mean, I, can I guarantee it? I don't know. I don't know anyone called Rinnakev. Okay, well, be aboard. So, we'll get a bit closer to get to the refugee group. And we'll just transport them out and then we can... We can get out of here. Oh, Talshiar battleships here. They're hailing. Yeah, they're not here to be friends. Okay. Lower my ships and surrender my vessel and crew or prepare to face the consequences. I don't think so. I recommend using our cloaking device to get close enough for a sneak attack. So he's suggesting we use our cloaking device. If only I knew how to activate it. I'm not entirely sure I know how to cloak. Ah. Am I just frozen? What's going on? doesn't appear to be working. <laughs> also, is it just mirrors? There we go, now we're cloaking. Now she'd find the Koval. Okay. That's definitely helpful. See how close we can get to them. Yeah, I'll maybe say maybe we'll set that as the quick power actually. Right, where's that ship? Let's turn round. Well, if we can get out of his way, then... Oh, I need my cloak back up, or I'm going to be in serious trouble.
Maybe if I can turn on him and launch another torpedo though first. We almost had the shot there. If I'd taken the shot quicker, I think I'm going to need to just disappear for a moment. Oh, he might already have us on, on screen though. Yeah, he knows where we are. He definitely knows where we are. Don't think I can survive this now. In fact, I'm not even firing. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> It'd be easier if it let if it like immediately took your cloak off as soon as you uh, fired, wouldn't it? But then I suppose that would. I don't see me lasting very well against this. Oh no! We did it. We did it. Yeah, getting used to the cloaking's not good. And yeah, I took some nasty damage there. <laughs> But I'll remember that for next time. Uh, thank you for taking the refugees. No way of protecting them. Hopefully they'll find refuge. Oh, and we're getting a... The channel. He's right. be lucky detail of a friendly local. That was close, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't work out that, my, that, that I hadn't uncloaked. Okay, let's turn in this mission. Now we've got some decent stuff there. Uh, plasma Torpedo Launcher Mark II. Want to get that one there. And we've got another officer. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You have a new captain power available in your radio menu. Press the left trigger and to And a new mission. Crossroads at Crateris. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, especially as you say, if you're not having to, <laughs> if you're not normally having to to meet them anymore, then yeah. I have new orders for you. Okay, so we got that mission. Uh, we got the quick power set already, which was our cloak. We did get some equipment to add to our ship there. Uh, that was a different, so standard plasma torpedo launcher. Uh, I want a Mark II plasma torpedo launcher. Looks like we might have a better plasma beam array as well, so we'll equip that. Uh, my aft weapons right now, we have a plasma turret. Ooh, I could put a basic plasma torpedo launcher on there. What's the plasma turret doing? 360 degree target in. 100.5 plasma damage. We've already got... That's doing a lot more plasma damage. Let's... Yeah, let's put a torpedo, plasma torpedo launcher in there. Got some devices, so we'll stick that in there. I'll put a weapon battery in there too. Looks like that could be useful. We don't need a standard issue shield array. Yeah, just watch it. <laughs> it is good, you know. Sometimes when you watch when you watch something like this and. 
And it'll remind you how good something was, you know. Uh, air shield. Yeah, I don't know what made me... Because as I say, I, I had played it for a while before. I don't know what made me to suddenly decide that we wanted to do it, Skills but... Uh, did we have we had some space points? Um, let's just boost that. Uh, increase the maximum shield capacity of my starship sounds good. And we will... Yeah. Better to increase our maximum... There, and we've got some ground points to spend. Let's boost my personal shields by 60. I guess that'll do for now. Right, let's go to the Crateris system. It's right here. Off we go! Yeah, I'd forgotten how 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 much enjoyment I'd gotten out of this game in the past. Uh, and there's definitely, obviously, I mean, the early on at least, there's a decent amount of stuff to do. Which I guess once you get a bit later into it, there maybe isn't. That's there is a lot of. There is a lot of things you can do in this game, though. It's amazing how long this this game's been around for as well, you know, considering a lot of other MMO sort of RPG games haven't been around that, that did so well. But then again, it's I mean, it's Star Trek. It's it's always going to be popular, isn't it? <laughs> well, for those of us that like it, anyway. I've got a few other games that I, that, I, that I am sort of planning to play and all the rest, but I felt like this would be quite a nice one just to come back to every now and again. Because I've no doubt I'll, I, I'll get burned out on it for a little while. But for now it's definitely... It's definitely enjoyable to, to get back into. So let's go over to Crateris and apparently choose sides. In we go. Approaching Crateris, and they've already engaged a group of already engaged. The Remans are sending out a general distress call. We have to help them. The ship on screen. We're under attack. The Decimus is too heavily damaged. They can't, they can't respond, respond to our hails. They won't last much longer if we don't help. So we need to give them some help. Power up our weapons and let's go. Let's take out this Tavaro warbird. There we go. That looks a bit more interesting. We've got torpedoes. Come on, you don't have a chance, Warbird. There it goes. Ooh, nasty. We took some damage there. Uh, we've got some more to take out. Let's go. Cloak up and get a bit closer. And that way we can maybe do them some damage before they even really know we're there. 
Oh, straight away. Took him out quite nicely there. Turn, turn on him. Nice, uh... Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Turn. Let's turn and do some damage. Turn and burn him out. That's the way. I know what I'm doing now. Oh, go! Run! We've got some more of them somewhere. Let's turn fast. There's another enemy this way. Take this Tile Shear ship out. Cloak again. Seems like cloaking does some serious damage to them if we... Drop another torpedo on them. Another torpedo of the high yield variety. Ooh, we're taking some nasty shots right on our shield there. Well, let's try and pull away as much as we can. Where's the Decimus? Took some damage there. There's the Decimus. Get over there and help them out. Their structural integrity needs to be reinforced. Talshiar have never been so bold. They're going to destroy your colony. With all due respect, Don't challenge the Talshiar. Yeah, well, maybe you should. The Remans need to think about that. He's telling the truth. Hope a second. Most of the ships are on maneuvers out of the system. They can't possibly return in time. Hey. Hi there. So we re-establish communication with the colony. Our priority must be to protect the people on the surface. Find Zeden. Communication tower in the outskirts of the colony. Okay. Guess we're beaming to the surface then. Then yeah, that'll do nicely. Wait, what? I guess we're ready. I'm going to play this a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll do our best to keep more Tal Sheriff from beaming down. So we've got to locate Zidane. I guess let's move and do it as quickly as we can. Oh, we've got some skittering saboteurs. And some drones. What are those things? They don't look wrong. These are the drones that the Tal Shiar appeared to be working with before. And there are some Tal Shiar. Okay, got some. Reman colonists in some serious trouble there. 
give him a quick scan, see what we can find out. Why are the tall shark doing this? I don't know. Because they're evil. Why did the Tal Shiar do anything? Because they want to. And because they're allowed to. Because they've got unbelievable amounts of power. Okay. Force field here. Looks like oh no, there's Den and a Centurion. Well, that didn't take very long. Took them out nicely and Thank speak to Zden. Obviously not with the Talshiar, no, I mean unless unless the Talshiar have started killing each other to to try and lull people into a false sense of security. Well, I wouldn't put it past them. Commander Key sent me to him. Follow him and he'll explain what's going on. Follow me. Okay, go somewhere then. There we are. Oh, that's his child, his daughter, it would appear. We need to know more. He needs to know more. Why are the Tal Shiar doing this? I've told you, because they're evil. It's an invasion, no they're taking it. For the Tal Shiar to attack for well, whether there's a reason or not, they're doing it. Why would a Tal Shiar attack a colony of their own people? So the I don't true. know. Tal Shire have declared war. They're going to kill them. They seem more interested in abduction. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, they're probably experimenting on people. You know. Humans. Well. Humanoid experiments. Uh, worry about that later. Exactly. We need to get the heck out of here. We must inform the council. Inform the council. Comms have been killed by the Talshiar. Slamek said she was going to check on the transmitter, said he was going to check on the transmitter, and he hasn't come back. Is there any other way to warn them? Well, hopefully there is. Otherwise it could be a problem. Uh, without the transmitter, we'll have to start contacting colonists individually. The world will spread, but it'll take some time to just dial in someone's phone. Hello? Yeah, uh, you need to get out. Okay, bye. Who's that? One 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 three two. Hello, yes. Uh, time to go home. Time to get onto the ship and get out of here. Just go through the phone book, dialing them. Do you think? I'm going with you. Contact everyone you can. You'll need help. We're going out to the transmitter. I'm going with you. Maybe we can find Slamek there. We appreciate the help. You should stay here. Let these people handle this. Well, whatever. Whether we handle it or she helps us, it doesn't Stop. matter to me. Let's go! What are we doing? I need to take a weapon and armour. Okay, we can take some extra armour. Uh, let's take a pulse wave assault rifle. And... That one apparently regenerates HP, or can I take them all? I can take them all! Do any of them help me? I don't think that armor is going to be better than the one I'm wearing, is it? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, see, that's got not as much kinetic damage resistance. Yeah, I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be using that. What about guns? A high density beam rifle. A full auto rifle. Mark 1, so it's a little bit better. Or the Pulse Wave Assault Rifle. 88 plasma damage. Let's give that one a shot. I also want to see what weapons they've got. OK, 
Okay, yeah, she can have that because she hasn't got any armor at all. And she's already got a standard issue personal shield. And Tovan can have that armor that I don't need. Uh, no, hang on. We also want to give them slightly better weapons. And he can have a full auto plasma rifle as well. Right, let's go. Go to the transmitter, we're going this way. Okay, this is an interesting weapon. It doesn't appear that I'm actually hitting anybody with it. It's an interesting weapon, but it doesn't seem to... Hmm. Might have to change out. Might have to change back from this gun, actually. It's just a bit too slow. So let's change to something a bit more useful. Take the high density beam rifle instead, because at least we can get off some pretty good shots with it pretty quickly. Okay, where are we going? We're going up there towards that transmitter. And some drones here. Oh my. Oh, you, oh whoops, sorry, I just blew up a shuttle. <laughs> We are, because I just killed a shuttle, sorry. I didn't mean to shoot the shuttles. I just meant to shoot the people. Should have left the thing alone, shouldn't I? <coughs> Excuse me one sec. There we go, cleared that out a bit better, right. Let's fix this transmitter if we can. And speak to this Slamic person. Leave me alone. Tried to repair the transmitter. It was pointless. The controls are destroyed. But it looks like you found some new friends. I think I can bypass them. Yeah, the controls are destroyed. I heard that. Can we set up a bypass relay? If it works, we might be able to control the transmitter dish from Zeden shuttle or even our secondary console at home. We can also try the tricorder. I have an idea. We need to do something. Set up a bypass relay. Okay. Get going then. Just hurry up and do what needs to be done. Get it fixed, get it working. It's these drones that are upon me just try to hug my face. It's hugging my face. Game over, man. Game over. Is that it? Who have we got to discuss the new plan with? Have we done it? Is that it? Is it working now? Or have I just made it worse? Discuss a new plan. With who? Does the new plan involve me not blowing up shuttles? Because. I feel like. Where are we supposed to be discussing the new plan? And did they come with me? 
she did, but the guy that was fixing that didn't. Let me have a look at this mission. Uh, okay, I, I did all that. Okay. So we're supposed to be working out some other way of doing this. Can he talk to me? I told you ah, there we go. Work. Oh, we're getting static. We should head back. Look up. We gotta get out of here now. What's up above? What's up above? Oh no, it's one of those. It's one of those ships. A very bad kind of ship. That's what kind of ship it is. We don't know. It attacked our colony on Viranet. Appears to be working with the Tal Shiar. That's all we can see. And now they're attacking here. We need to warn other colonies. Believe it or not, that's what we're trying to do. Destroy this thing. Well, this is going to start to be a problem very soon. They're launching torpedoes at all the buildings. And these shields are no longer active. Where is he? There's the den. We need to evacuate I right now. Father, I should go with you. So we'll beam everyone up onto our ship. You'll be safer on their ship. Hey, let's get out here. Where's the shuttle? So we have to run outside to the shuttle. Meanwhile, everyone else just does their own, does their own thing. Here we go, guys. We're going to escape before that thing does any serious damage to us. Trying not to destroy the shuttle. There we go. We got them to the shuttle. Now what do we do? Where there is light, there is then we can beam out and then we're done. Let's beam out. We'll probably have to fight some Tal Shiar along the way. The Decimus has engaged the Tal Shiar and we're in position. I'm making my She's aboard and safe. Don't worry, my child. So set a course for the beacon. That's one. And take down as many of these enemies as we can. Can I? Oh my goodness, my shields are all run out. Maybe in trouble here. There's a lot of Romulans fighting me. I need to recover my shields, come on! I don't think we're gonna get any chance at that. Right, let's just. Shields are down! Now's the time to take them out. Hmm. 
Who's shooting at me? There's somebody over there. There he is. I'm in trouble. There's a ship way out there that I cannot hit. Let's try taking out these warbirds instead. We need to do this. Our shields are back up. For how long, I can't say. Take that. Oh no, what happened? He's down. We're destroying a decent number of warbirds, but we're still in trouble. Ah, uh, it's a scorpion fighter. That's what it was that was chasing us. That was circling us. Now we should be alright, I think. Don't worry, I'm, ta I'm protecting your shuttle. What's that? It's not one of those scorpion fighters, but... It's gone. And that's another one down. Now hopefully we can take these warbirds out. Come on, destroy some warbirds! That should do some nasty damage. It did. Another light warbird there to take out. Hit him with another torpedo. And he's dead. Let's get out of here, guys. We've done it. So we've got to reach this nav beacon. Unknown ship near the beacon it appears to be a battleship. Our ships will be completely outmatched. They're emitting some sort of passive scanning field. Can't get a weapons lock. If I tap into the beacon's controls, I may be able to send a high frequency proton burst. Do it. Looks like that's done something. that help? With all of these ships fighting it, it should go down fast. Should. Will it? I don't know. So we want to stay behind it. Okay. I've got you. We need to kill his back shields though first. We can do him, we can take him. So we're gonna take him. Another high yield torpedo. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, he's got nine percent health left. Oh no, we're being torpedoed we're being pulled in by one of those tractor beam torpedoes. Oh, we did it. Heels, hails the den. They've taken everyone. They've taken everyone. A 
cruiser warped in during the fight with the battleship, stayed at long range and decloaked and teleport and transported them out? Do we know where they've gone? There was too much interference from the battleship. The Decimus is healing. Other Remans who need protection. Join the Tans fleet, we're stronger together. Isn't his call to make? Relay the offer to Obasek. Good luck. Yeah, welcome aboard. We Let's get out of this system. Well, that wasn't great. The the, the Remans that we thought we'd rescued uh, immediately got taken. So that's helpful. Let's just heal Tamer. Uh, we'll not win every battle, we'll win the war. Congratulations, Lieutenant. We've got Veril. And a new mission, Gasco Blues. Space station in Gasco that we think would be a fine addition to our group. If they agree to join us, we'll have an additional base. You know there's a group of refugees there. We have to stop I'll accept that mission. And for now, for tonight, we'll end. I hope you've enjoyed what you have seen of Star Trek Online. Uh, I'm in kind of uncharted territory myself because I've not played as a Romulan character before. But actually, it seems quite interesting. It seems quite an interesting storyline to play along with. So we will continue that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, as I say. Uh, tune in next time. Well, tomorrow we'll probably be looking at a PC game, I would think. Uh, something a bit different. Uh, probably, well, not different. Probably another adventure game. Just thought we'd try this. Uh, I know that next week I'll be looking at probably Ace Combat, uh, which hopefully you guys will enjoy. Uh, but for now, thank you very much. Keep an eye on my Twitter page. It's twitter.com slash supernotice and you'll find out when I'm going live. Usually, as I say, around about 10pm UK time or so. Uh, most nights. I have had the last couple of days off. Uh, a couple of internet based issues. Uh, but for now, that's it. And thank you very much, and good night. We'll definitely play some more Star Trek Online at some point.